Hey guys, this is a quick tip about slicing out transparent images in Photoshop. So I downloaded this free theme off of the site called blazrobar.com. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but um, it's just a designer. He has a lot of free PSD templates and UI stuff. So go check out that site. It's pretty good stuff. So the old way that I used to slice out transparent image is I would control click on the image I want or the layer that I want. And then if it has multiple layers, if it's in a folder, I would just select the folder and hold down the alt key and click on the eye icon. And this would hide all the other layers. And then you can select the selection tool. And then from here, just hit command shift C. And then I would just go to do a new document, paste that in and it's cropped down to the size. So it's not the fastest way to do it. So lately what I've been doing is instead of doing that, you can just select the folder itself and then hit duplicate group. And you, you can copy this into a new file. And then from in here, just go to image trim, and then you can trim away all the transparent pixels. So now this is cropped down to the same size. So an even faster way to do this is to set up an action for it. So if you go under window and actions, you can set up a new folder for yourself if you don't have one. And then click on the create new action. I'm just going to name this slice image and you can assign a key to it. So I'm just going to assign F1. So hit record and then now just pretty much do what I just did. So I'm going to go back in here and then make sure it's on the layer that I want. Right click, go to duplicate group, select new, hit OK, and then go to trim, trim out the pixels. So instead of going to file and save for web, in an action you can go up to this top right corner and go to insert menu item and then you can go to file save for web and this way we'll just make an action so hit ok and then go back into your file and close it down and don't save and then now you can stop your action all right so you can pretty much do that on any layer that you want i'm just going to go down and select this box down here and then if you're on a Mac keyboard, you have to hold down function and then hit F1 for the F keys to work. So I can save that out. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time.